I hear from so many people each week, business owners who say the employee retention credit, ERC, uh, doesn't apply to me. I looked at that uh, last year and you know we, our business was actually up or you know, we were an essential business. Well, today I'm gonna share with you that there have been so many changes that if you've been waiting to see if you qualify or if you've already kind of pre-qualified yourself, like disqualified your business, it's time for you to take a second and look. So stick around, you're not going to want to miss this. So you heard right, with all the changes over the past two going on three years with stimulus money, PPP, the employee retention credit, many business owners kind of can't keep everything straight and if they've heard about the employee retention credit, they think, oh yeah, that doesn't apply to me. So I'm gonna dive into all the changes and if you've been waiting, I'll leave a link down below in the description of this video where you could apply. And of course, don't forget to drop a like for this video. And I have a thriving online community both on Facebook and Discord. Feel free to check those out. I'll leave a link down below in the description. All right, simply put, if you've been waiting because you don't think your business applies or you looked at the employee retention credit last year, well, it's time to take a second look because if your business paid out W-2 employees that aren't the owner or weren't family, so you had any other employees, even one, then it is going to be worth it. We're talking potentially thousands or tens of thousands of dollars back in your pocket in the form of a payroll tax credit. Honestly, I feel like it's my duty to spread this message because so many business owners, something like 70%, 80%, probably qualify for at least some quarter in 2020 because of federal mandates, shutdown, supply chain disruption, and or 2021. But all of this is confusing and when you type in online employee retention credit, my face might pop up along with some videos of like last year or you might see some some like companies that just wanted you to put in like your information so they could give you a call and maybe try to sell you something. So I'm gonna talk about four different types of businesses and I don't mean business entities, it's like a scenario and if any of those scenarios, any of the four examples apply to your business, then you could qualify in that quarter. So the first one that everyone always talks about is revenue reduction. Of course, if your business was down in any quarter, 2020 or 2021, compared to 2019, then you can simply get money back in your pocket in the form of a payroll tax credit known as ERC, specifically for that quarter. So of course, that's the easy one. And a lot of businesses think, oh, if I was up, I don't qualify. Well, the second example or scenario would be if you had a full or partial shutdown. I talked to so many dentists office that had to be closed because they weren't allowed to see patients in person. I did a video just last week on churches, nonprofits, uh, tribal businesses. Think of all of the types of full or partial shutdowns. Maybe you were still allowed to do business in some capacity, but if there was a government mandate that lasted from this day to this day, or there was multiple ones, well, putting that down and then applying for this money and getting it back in your pocket is a second qualifier, but it also can apply to one quarter and then another. It doesn't have to be a all or nothing. Another example would be if your business experienced some supply chain disruption that you can document. For example, uh, I know that those uh, PPE types of supplies, uh, people couldn't get them. Uh, maybe you had to change your, your, your cleaning routine. For example, let's say that you were a restaurant and you couldn't get certain types of, of like takeaway containers. Or, you know, I talked to a rancher the other day, for example, and they needed a certain type of supply for their cattle and they couldn't get it in. You know just as well as I do that it has been a nightmare and still is to this day. So if you experience some supply chain disruption and you can document what you needed to get and couldn't and the vendor, then you could apply in the quarter when that impacted your business. And now the fourth business uh, scenario that I wanted to discuss would be new businesses. 
I think there's probably a whole bunch of businesses that just were getting started after, let's say, February 15th, 2020. Well, they changed the rules, of course they did, again, where you could be referred to as a recovery startup business and get back potentially up to $50,000. And that $50,000 is for Q3 and Q4 of 2021. And this has nothing to do with revenue. So if you were a business that started after February 15th, 2020, then it's worth your time. Again, I'll leave a link down below in the description to check out the free questionnaire. I've partnered with the good folks at the ERC specialists. You can see potentially how much money you could qualify. And if any of those three other scenarios do not apply to you, but you were a new business, it's worth it to take a look. A couple of key takeaways. There are so many businesses out there that still don't know about the employee retention credit, also known as ERC. They can qualify on a quarter by quarter basis so long as they had W-2 employees who were not family or owners of the business on the books during 2020 or 2021. No, you're not disqualified if you got PPP. We can work with that now. No, you didn't have to have a revenue reduction. Um, you can be impacted in other ways. Supply chain disruption, being forced to shut down. Yes, tribal businesses, nonprofits, even churches or private schools, they can apply for this. New businesses, businesses that started after February 15th, 2020. You can see how I'm trying on this channel to get that message out there, to educate people, to let you know, even if this doesn't apply to you, you could tell your business owner, the, the person that fixes your roof, the person that you know takes care of your kids, daycare, whomever, and, and maybe they could see if they qualify. You know, it, 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 as we start this little fire, hopefully we, it can spread and benefit as many businesses as possible. So I mentioned it before, I'll leave a link down below in the description to the ERC specialists. I've partnered with them. They have a free questionnaire you can fill out and potentially see how much money you could qualify for. Full disclosure, yes, if you decide to go with them, they'll take care of everything on the filing end. They have great customer support. They have a call-in number, chat, email, and they can help you get this money back in your business's pocket. Also, my website is full of employee retention credit blog posts. I'm actually working on this like epic blog post like 5,000, 10,000 words so that you can have all the information scroll through all in one place. So I'll leave a link down below in the description to that, so be sure to check it out. Also, if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to hit subscribe and ring that notification bell. All right, as always, I'm Rich, and until next time.